exit by the end of the day. Monsieur de Bourbeau, can we talk? You'd best be bearing good news. Get on with it. This Jean-Luc, he did have a silver pendant. Kept a lock of Madame de Bourbeau's hair in it, matter of fact. What? But how could she? To be unfaithful to me? A lord and heir with a plow-spawned peasant? Oh, she shall pay for this. Don't doubt that. But mind paying me first? For services beyond the scope of the contract? There. It'll come out of her dowry. Got rid of the beast that was giving you trouble. It was a Shelmar. Sh Shelmar? Whatever could that be? Hmm, kinda like a cross between a mole and a caterpillar. Just big as a barn. Oh. <laughs> uh huh? Well, Master Witcher. You make a poor first impression, but ultimately proved your worth. There. Your reward. Now, forgive me. I must speak to my wife. Folks say some large armored mole tunnels beneath the foundations. It's why things are toppling. They're flying. <laughs> Nothing to see here. Move along. You've precisely one hour to pack your things. What? I don't understand. I will not be paid for it. You know exactly why. Now go! Get to it! Our Ducas is a lovely lassie, you scamp, you. Not now, Master. Give me peace. With a long stick, eh, Turny Champion? But a few drops of wine, and lo and behold, I see better. <laughs> <laughs>